good to see you this morning. Um, it seems like it's nicer weather in Rutherglen than it is in London, so um, that's good news. Um, but but uh, what's the mood on the ground in this constituency? They've effectively been without an MP for years. Yeah, that's correct. You know, I think we need to go back several years when Margaret Ferrier boarded that fateful train knowing um, full well that she had a, a positive test for COVID, um, which then triggered a sequence of events which have lasted several years. And I think Rutherglen here, um, where I am today, is, is pretty much tired of the whole thing. Um, now, certainly that um, on Monday, um, we know that the, the recall count closed. And then yesterday, around 5.15pm, we got notification that Margaret Ferrier um, was, had indeed lost her seat. A by-election would be called here, which is Scotland's first recall, believe it or not. And in doing so, within about 15 minutes, Scottish Labour had put out an OP note to alert the press that today was um, going to be immediately an introduction of Michael Shanks, Scottish Labour and Labour indeed new MP for Rutherglen and Hamilton West. Now, um, I went along to his launch this morning and certainly if you look at the, the, the recent history of Labour in this constituency, it's clear to anyone to see how much Labour want this, whether or not this is the first um, constituency for them um, or whether or not this is just the foothold for the next election. But I spoke to Michael Shanks this morning and I asked him about how he felt about bearing that responsibility. Scottish Labour's thrown quite a lot at Rutherglen and Hamilton West. Do you feel the weight of that burden? You know, it's quite tangible even for members of the public how much they want to win this by-election. The, the weight I feel is from people who I talk to on the doorsteps who are just totally fed up with politics, who feel like all the parties have deserted them, and we are there talking to them about a fresh start that's possible. It's been three years since Margaret Ferrier brought us into this mess and refused to resign even after pleading guilty in court, so people here rightly feel frustrated. So the weight I feel is about trying to go to people across this constituency and, and offer them something better so that they have something to go and vote for on the 5th of October when this by-election must be held. So we've spoken to about 20,000 people in the last few months. We've got 60,000 in the constituency left, left to speak to. People are telling us, first and foremost, they're just fed up with politics. So it's trying to rebuild their trust in politics as a force for good, but also about issues like the cost of living crisis and locally about local community services that are being cut to the bone by an SNP government that has slashed year and year and year again South Lanarkshire Council's budget. And those are the, the practical uh, issues that people are bringing up here. But more than that, they just want an MP that's fighting their corner rather than at the moment two governments that are hopelessly distracted. Somebody should um, perhaps tell Just Stop Oil that they got the wrong postcode yesterday when they, they painted the front of Holyrood red, because um, certainly Michael Shanks and Scottish Labour will be hoping that that will be the colour um, that they'll be painting Rutherglen later on in the year. It's believed around October. October 5th is the, the estimated date for the by-election, but we won't know for certain until Parliament is, um, returns from the break.